What is going on everybody? In today's video, I'm going over why it is crucial. It is essential. It is mandatory. You have local SEO for your trade business in this digital world. Let's get into it. What is going on everybody? Doreen Collective is the name of the channel. Doreen Collective is the name of the business. I help small to medium sized businesses scale using local SEO tactics and strategies, especially, especially, especially trade businesses because there is something I'm seeing lacking in the trade industry. The marketing sucks. <laughs> Let's hop right into it. The marketing is not good. So I live in the Southeast and anytime I see any trade business around the neighborhood when I'm driving, it is usually a Gmail email address. And if you do have a website and I check out the website, it is super outdated and don't get me started on the Google My Business page, right? So just a very old school approach. The majority of the time when I see these businesses, it's a very old school approach on reaching clientele. Uh, the majority of their business comes from referrals, word of mouth. And while yes, that is great, scalability, not so great and the name of the game you guys want to scale so yes with word of mouth yes with referrals you already have that stamp of approval like okay you can trust this company but how far can that go what happens when the referrals run out what happens when there's there's word of mouth but it's limited what do you do next you cannot just hope and pray. We have to get strategic. And that is where local SEO comes into play and it's so essential. And I said local SEO, not SEO. And there's a clear difference, especially in trade businesses or businesses that provide a service. But I'm really leaning on trade businesses in this video. So real quick, what's the definition of standard SEO? What is the definition of local SEO? Standard SEO, Think very broad. Think the whole United States. Think about, okay, you, maybe you have a online course and you wanna target a new country. That is SEO. It's very broad and very wide. Local, local SEO, let's niche it down. Right? You can target a geographic area. Okay? It is critical, let's say, if you have a physical location or you have a service to where you need to get to certain locations within an area well then yes, you would wanna focus on your local SEO because you don't want people finding your business and they're in another state. When people find your business, they are in a radius that you serve. So that's why local SEO for trade businesses, local SEO where you have a physical location or you provide a service is critical, it's crucial. That's really where the majority of your t attention should fall under. So, and I have my little iPad here. I got some, I have some notes for you guys, right? I want to hope, hopefully by the time this video is over, it can really, really enlighten anyone out there. Or if you're familiar with SEO, how you can refine and how you can really make your strategic, uh, your marketing strategy just a little bit better. So the difference is with standard SEO and local SEO, when I work with a business, I'm focusing on the target audience. Who's your demographic? Who do you want to focus? What area codes do you want to focus on? What counties, locations? From there, it's the keywords. I'm then using certain keywords that will now reinforce the target audience. And then the relevance of the search results. Okay? You don't want, if you are in Georgia, yes, I may have a great target audience and a great keyword selection, but it's still too broad. So it could be outside of your, your radius. So at the end of the day, I wanna make sure the relevance of your search results is key, okay? It's very, very critical. So think about these things in your, in your business. How are you reaching new clients? What are you doing to get new business? What are you doing to get new leads? Okay? Versus I have my website slapped on a truck. Most of the time, people are not looking up, they're looking in their phones. If somebody has a plumbing issue, usually when there's a plumbing issue, the issue has already started. The issue is already bad. So they need a plumber now. They're not looking outside to see if a truck is passing by. They're immediately plumber near me. Best plumber in my area. Plumber in this zip code. When you guys want some pizza, <laughs> best pizza around, best pizza near me. 
And then what happens when you do that search? If you don't go to the website, usually a Google business page might pop up. You start looking at reviews, you look at the menu, and then you look for an address. A lot of times, no one is even going to your website, especially within trade businesses. And I keep leaning on the trade businesses and I wanna really put a little emphasis on plumbing because when I have a plumbing issue, by the time I'm trying to find a plumber, okay, the, the leak is happening, the noise is getting loud, I need somebody, right? Now I'm impatient, I need somebody to come now. <laughs> That's why it's so crucial to have your local SEO set up. So when somebody like me is looking for, okay, I need that electrician, these lights are not working. Okay, <laughs> I need an electrician because I'm not getting power in my office and I need to shoot my videos. I need you to come now. That is why local SEO is so cr critical because when I'm punching in electrician near me, electrician in my area, your local SEO, that target audience that you've been working on, your ad that you've been working on, all reinforcing the geographic location that you are, that you service, that is how I find you. And you, you heard I mentioned Google My Business. That is one of the, that's just the beginning. And it's the fundamental way just to get your local SEO started because it's free. And the majority, if not everybody uses Google to find everything. It's a search engine. That Google My Business page is a search engine. And yes, you might say, well, I already have a Google My Business page. Okay, you're not telling me anything new. Okay, that's fine. When's the last time you updated it? Let's go back to those keywords. How does, how does the copy look? How does the copywriting look on your page? Are you including keywords and are you, is the metadata all focusing on those geographic locations and we are just getting started. <laughs> that is just the tip of the iceberg. How many videos did you have on there? How many reviews do you have on there? If you have a thousand clients that you've served and you've done astonishing work for all 1000, well then you should have 1000 reviews. So are you doing your email blast? Are you following up? Are you telling people, hey, check out my Google business page. All of these things tie into local SEO. Local SEO is not just having a cool website. That is basic, that's fundamental. Yes, we, you have to have a website, get the website up, that is gonna list your phone number, it's going to list your address, it's gonna list the contact information, but also that is another form of local SEO because when somebody comes to your website, there should be some sort of exchange happening you wanna maybe get Get their phone number, get a message from them, get a note from them, ask them, how can you help? It should not be, hey, I come to your website and you have no clue who's been there. And these are the things that I see happening very often because anytime I work with somebody or if I'm just looking at certain businesses, I'm looking for those details. I'm looking to see, okay, are you set up properly before, at a fundamental level are you set up properly? And if not, well then yes, it will explain why the phone isn't ringing as much as before. It will explain why business is not scaling at your liking, at the pace that you may want. So these are the things that with local SEO, you need to focus on. You may have a marketing campaign that is just so broad that anybody who does find your business they may not even be in your state. And a lot of times that very much happens. You have very generic copy on all of your profiles. And your keywords are not optimized. Your Google business page is not optimized. Your business is not optimized for local searchability. You cannot just say, hey, plumbing, best plumber around. You have to start getting very, very, very specific. Once you start doing those things, and just having now a foundation, now you have to continually update it, reinforce it, because Google is like a living organism. It is constantly evolving. It wants to see that you are active. So you have, and then also clients change, life changes, and you have to constantly stay updated. 
You know, so the keywords may change, your business may change. Um, the reviews, that is just critical, critical, critical. You as the consumer, what do you usually do when you find a business? You wanna see some reviews. Whether it is Google My Business, Yelp. <laughs> Yellow Pages is, is, has their online directory. And all of those things, and I am just listing three of quite a lot, right? There, it, there are endless amounts. All of those things come back to SEO. Let's niche it down. All of those things come to local SEO. And like I said, if you are in the trade business, service industry, a physical location, you should only be focusing on local SEO. So that's where I come in and that's how I help with these businesses where I start to optimize from start to finish. We go all the way back and we, I start cleaning everything up because a lot of times what I've realized, everything, a lot of their profiles are incomplete or just outdated. You know, it got set up when you first started your business. That was five, six years ago. The pictures are five, six years old. You know, there, there's no keyword stating the areas that you service. It's nothing. It's just a very bland, it's a very general profile. It's a very general digital footprint. And your digital footprint is, it's worth a lot. It's worth your, the success of your business. How else are you going to expand? How else are you going to want to scale? If you were to take word of mouth out of it, if you were to take referrals out of it, how else would you get, get business? So I want you guys to think of these things, right? I want you guys to think of these things as you start going, either you're starting your business or you currently have it. Think about, okay, if you were the consumer, how would you find your business? Try to find your business. Okay, create a private tab on, on whatever, Google Chrome, whatever, or Safari. Try to find your business, whatever it may be. If you're a plumber or you are an electrician, let's get nail tech, whatever it may be, try to find it. And then look at it, it's like, huh, I kind of see, yeah, it's a bit, all right, it's not very, it's not speaking, it's not very direct. So I know I'm going, this video is starting to get long. I'll wrap it here. But local SEO is go going to be key. Do not solely focus on just basic SEO. You will realize very quickly your business, your business's growth will come to a, not a halt, but in terms of the growth, the scaling and, and how fast you're growing, it will slow it down a little bit. So I hope this helps. More videos are on the way. And as always, if you have questions, comments, reach out to me, you need my services, whatever the case may be, reach out, comment. I have all of ways, multiple ways to get in contact with me. Let's do it.